Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're going to talk about how to wire a wall volume control. Alright, so connecting 70 volt volume controls is a pretty standard practice in commercial audio systems. Uh, we use it a lot in offices, restaurants, retail spaces, um, conference rooms, things like that. And the process basically allows you to control the volume of individual speakers or zones within the system without impacting other zones. Um, so we're going to do a step-by-step -step guide of kind of how to hook all these up. We have another video that's a little bit more in-depth about how to do lots and lots of volume controls that you can check out. But for this one, I want to show you guys the nuts and bolts of actually wiring things up. So first, you're going to need the necessary equipment like I have here. I've got a 70 volt amplifier with a single output. I've got a couple of volume controls. These are stainless steel. Uh, you're going to need speakers. I've left out the speakers for the purpose of space as well as to focus in on the volume controls, but you will need speakers to make a sound system, obviously. Uh, and then you're going to need your cable. I've got a couple of pieces of pre-stripped 18-2 speaker wire that we're going to use here. And I also have a screwdriver to make all the appropriate connections. So the first thing you need to do is plan your system. How many zones are we going to do? How many speakers are we going to do? Which do we want to control? Uh, and that kind of thing. So we need to know, do we want a volume control to control the speakers on the patio at the restaurant? If so, do we want the volume control at the patio? Do we want it in the manager's office? That kind of thing. In order to wire to the volume controls, these are actually uh, wattage attenuators. You actually wire from the amplifier to the volume control, volume control to the speaker. So in our example, from the amplifier to this volume control, out to the restaurant patio speaker. So first things first, I am gonna to connect to my amplifier. I am gonna take my speaker wire. I'm gonna check my polarity. Polarity means positive and negative. I've got a red wire and a black wire. I'm gonna use the red for my positive, black for my negative. I'm gonna to go to my amplifier, put those connections in place, tighten that on up. And then I'm gonna to go to my patio volume control. On the volume control, you will have a positive and negative in and a positive and negative out. Check on the volume control you're using where those screws lie uh, to make sure you're looking at the correct one. But the input is what comes from the amplifier that's going into the attenuator. That is an unattenuated side of the, uh, of the volume control. That means uh, that input side is not gonna be raised or lowered by whatever we do on this dial. The output side is, so that's where the speaker goes. My amplifier is not plugged in at all. I am gonna go ahead and back out the screws for my positive and negative in. I am gonna check on my polarity. Very important to always keep an eye on polarity. Positive in, and I am going to tighten that up. I have now wired into my volume control and the speaker would wire to the output side of this volume control. So that begs a question, now how are we gonna hook up the second one? We've got a couple of options we can do there. I can hook up to my second volume control and pull a second home run directly back to the amplifier. Uh, in order to make those connections, I actually would need to basically have two positives coming out of the positive terminal, two negatives coming out of the positive terminal, and then that would wire directly to my second volume control. That is one option that sometimes can get difficult though, given how small the uh, contact may be on the actual uh, amplifier itself. As I mentioned on the input side, this is an unattenuated input. So I am actually going to wire two sets of wires into my input on this volume control. So I'm literally tw twisting together the positives and twisting together the negatives. That is going to go into the input in my volume control. Since I have gone into the unattenuated side, that means that um, regardless of what I do on this volume control, it will not impact this volume control. And then I'll just take this line and wire it over to the input. 
That's another way to do things. Um, or you can also always home run all of your uh, speakers back to the amplifier and use like a terminal block or a Wago connector, something like that, or a wire nut together and splice all of your positives together, all your negatives together. That's an option. It ultimately just depends on how many of these you're doing at one time. But what's most important here is to always make sure that we are looking at polarity, keeping in mind your positive to your positive, your negative to your negative, and making sure that the input is what comes from the amplifier, the output is what goes to, out to the speaker or group of speakers. If you've got questions on anything I did here today or um, need to add volume controls to your space or in need a hand with your system design, definitely let us know. Reach out to us. Link is down below. Uh, once again, I'm Nathan, and until next time, guys, take care.